Team coverage continues as families across East Texas are sitting in the cold this evening with no way to warm up. KTK Star Allegra was at the Cascades and taught her with people who live there have been without electricity for days. That sound is what woke up Debbie Cavanaugh and her neighbors early Tuesday morning. And the cause? The power outage at her condo in the Cascades. Something Tyler Fire Marshal Jay McClung tells me has kept his team busy. There's been a ton of the same issue here just in the last couple days with no power. Uh, a lot of pipes busting and a lot, of, a lot of water. The electricity out combined with the bitter air. Of course, no heat, no internet, no TV. Froze the building's pipes, adding to the already uncomfortable environment inside of Kavanaugh's home. I mean, literally, it's been a matter of getting up, getting you know hot tea or coffee, making lunch, making dinner, and then literally going right back into bed. And now, three days in, these halls are still pitch black. I have never experienced anything like this. Um, so yes, I mean, it's, I mean, we can understand this is a pretty significant snowstorm, and there were things on the news, but uh, since 3 a.m. She has to rely on a flashlight to guide the way through her 50-degree apartment. She and her neighbors are dressed in robes, <laughs> beanies, and scarves to keep them warm inside. And I thought, when am I ever going to wear this hat here in Texas? But I have loved this hat for the last few days. <laughs> Despite trying to remain positive, she wants answers from Encore. I am surprised that it's, it's this long without yes. anything. There's been no, nothing showing any sort of attempt like it's going to come on. It's just been out cold. And although Tuesday brought the sun, she's one out of 90,000 East Texans still stuck in the dark. Sarah Allegre, KDK News.